We always talk about pairing food and drinks together, but have you ever thought about pairing activities with your drinking? Coming up, I show you which activities really bring out the thirst for a cold beer. Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Hour with Ollie. I'm Ollie, and what are we drinking today? Today, we are drinking this Tough Session Ale from Tofino Brewery, located in Tofino, which is located on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. I recently went there on a trip and I based all my activities on one criteria only, and that is thirst inducing. So before I crack open this beer, let me take you on a beer guzzling trip down memory lane. Mm. Hot. of four beers to try. The first one that I'm gonna do is called Dimension Ascension. It's a dry hopped pale ale. As you can see, a little bit cloudy, golden in color. The head is very fine. Oh, so good. It's like, starts off with a really refreshing sweetness and then quickly it goes to um, the bitterness of hops and then with a dry finish at the end. But it's super refreshing. Like kind of juicy in the beginning, the hop hits you like on the nose. Almost an IPA, pretty much. Alrighty, on to my second. So this one is called an urethral IPA. It has hops called Eureka hops and then some other hops called cashmere hops as well. And as you can see, it's kind of like a hazy, pale golden color. Hops. Mmm. It's quite juicy actually. More hop on the nose, less hop in my mouth. It's quite juicy and then kind of like finishes. Dryish. And it's not really bitter at all. Really good and refreshing. Um before I drink the next one, I have to do that because it's called Cosmic Way. Does that mean? When I drink it, I will become zen. <laughs> we shall find out. Again, this one's kind of hazy, more of like a golden color. 
Ooh, very fruity on the nose. Tropical fruits. Oh, I love this. Super juicy, but a super hoppy as well. At the bar, um, on the on the board, they said also notes of pine. I'm not really getting the pine at all. I'm just getting juicy fruit. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that juicy fruit chewing gum. Super nice. The bitterness kind of fades into like a well-rounded sweetness. I can drink this all day. Take my money. Alrighty, this is the last one. It's called Kelp Stout. And uh, according to the board, it has salted chocolate flavors. What better way to end a uh, tasting with said chocolate? It definitely smells like chocolate. Dark chocolate, in fact. Super smooth. Ooh. The chocolatey taste fades into a kind of finish that I can't quite put my finger on. It's rather tangy at the end. I feel that this beer is also light enough. You know how some stouts are like super heavy? Like after you drink it, you feel like you just had an entire meal. This one is not one like that. It's pretty light on the palate. You get some uh, chocolatey taste. I would say like the salted flavor that they're talking about on the board only shows up at the very, very end with the finish. It's like kind of tangy, like a little bit salty and sour at the same time. Interesting. Hi there, we are at the distillery in Tofino on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. So um, what I've got here is their little tasting flight. This one is the Old Cedar Grove Gin. I'm a gin girl, so. Uh, super juniper, it smells so good. There's a small amount of burning. But the flavors are quite tangy and sweet. Um, enjoy We're now trying the jalapeno vodka. Oh, it smells like jalapeno. Like that tang. I can smell it already. Oh. Spicy. Hot. It's actually hot. It's hot. It's not the burning. It's actually hot. Holy crap, this is really good. I feel like I need food with this. I need like nachos or something. Oh my gosh, I'm burning up. I'm burning up. Like I feel like the tips of my ears are like getting hot. Oh, it's interesting. Green is my favorite color. I don't mind seeing green fairies. Will I see green fairies after I drink this absinthe? We shall find out. Mmm, sweet. I've had other absinthe before and it's like super licorice-y. This one is less licorice-y, more floral. So it's like really nice. We'll see the the taste. Sweet licorice followed by a fire in my mouth.
I love holidays with drinking involved. And beers are my favorite souvenirs. So let's crack this baby open. So as you can see, this got a lovely transparent amberish color. Ooh, lots of head, mm, which is very smooth. It's not exactly silky, but it's very smooth and you can taste a lot of hops from the head alone. Mm. Plus something very like malty and nutty. Nice. I will have to say, this beer, when it enters your mouth, is not exactly sweet. The finish is quite tangy as well. So it's very juicy with lots of sour notes peeping through. It is very light and refreshing, structured, even though it's light. It is quite robust. Instead of getting fruits though, like I'm really getting more of a bready, nutty, almost banana-y kind of taste. But the finish is definitely not dry. It's very juicy on my tongue and definitely very tangy. As you guys may probably know, I'm not so much into sour, tangy taste. So I think I need to drink a little bit more before I make my final decision. So in conclusion, although this beer is probably not my cup of tea just because I'm not into the kind of tangy sour notes, I still do think that it is a really good beer. And I think that if I pair it up with food, you know, something probably even more savory and perhaps even more spicy or sour, that when I have the beer with it, the beer will seem less sour and much more juicy. So what activities do you like to pair up with beer? Do you have any recommendations for me? Be sure to comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll never miss out on a happy hour adventure with me. Also, feel free to look me up on Instagram and use the hashtag happy hour with Ali. Until we drink again, cheers mates! Bye!